Alright, welcome to the video of Masketeers. Today we'll be talking about will they have more cameos in MK1 going forward? Um, short answer yes, and then now you get to hear my long explanation, right? So, if y'all think MK1, Ether Realm Studios, right, is gonna miss out on dropping a cameo that's probably like four or five dollars a piece, give or take, you're crazy. Um, I know the data miners basically haven't found the cameos yet, or they're recently quote unquote been thinking there's gonna be Kentaro, etc. Um, there will be cameos. Promise you that. I feel like as of right now, Combat Pack 2 has been advertised, right? And I told you they just finally caught up with Combat Pack 1. Like they're finally on schedule. So realistically they're working on the char characters and i think combat pack 2 kind of gives you more combat pack 1 this is why i say this the chaos rain bundle gives you obviously all the characters that we had from combat pack 1 so people that haven't played the game at all benefit more than people that haven't played the game and this is the first time on launch we get three characters when we got pre-order last time we just had shang song most people don't even play shang song because shang song is too difficult etc right but this combat pack 2 we get sector cyrax cybot all three of those will be available september 24th 2024 um that being said i feel like with those three characters at launch the sacrifice was like okay we know that the cameos aren't done but these three characters are already done we're just gonna launch them as quick as possible all right and the game plan I think going forward is going to be they're going to do very staggered releases as far as the next couple of characters. They will probably announce the cameos later. If they don't announce them in year two, they'll probably be year three so that they could just have like a cameo pack along with other characters. But I highly, highly believe that we will have cameos for year two. Um, and I mean... The reason I believe this is it, the formula as of yeah, as of now has been character cameo, character cameo, character cameo. And if we wanted to keep it a hundred, we didn't even see the cameos back in Combat Pack uh, one commercial trailer. If we look at that, it was just Omni Man, uh, Ermac. Like we really just saw them like all standing together. We didn't even see no cameos. The game launched with cameos, we didn't see it. So it'd be a missed opportunity on their end to not have cameos added to the game. But me talking to the NetherRealm devs as a whole, this is just like on this video, etc. I'm telling y'all right now, devs, this is what y'all need to do. Focus on the characters that come out and then release your cameo thereafter. Because if your character plays good, it's gonna increase period retention and people are gonna enjoy the game and be like, oh, I can't wait for the next character to come out. The cameo is like a second thought because the people that get excited for cameos are typically either lab rats, people that like to lab all day, like myself, um, or it's players that have a character that struggles. If your character's struggling, usually the band-aid is, I'll just grab a good cameo and he'll compensate for my weaknesses, right? While that is cool, the, the major issue that needs to be addressed is, like I said before, character power. The base character just needs to be good, all right? If the base character is bad, Throwing a cameo is, <laughs> it's like you got a a good car, a bad old car and you just throw some new rims on it. It's not really fixing your problem. You know what I'm saying? You, your whole base of your car still messed up. Your rotator cuff needs to be replaced. Your brake pass is bad. And you know what I'm saying? Your frame is bent. It's not going to fix it. Just putting on a new paint job. And I feel like the cameos have been focused on, as, as far as year one, they've been focused on more than the characters. So going forward, we really just gotta have more of the actual characters being, you know, improved, made better, etc., rather than just the cameos. Year two, we need to hit these characters up. All right, Sub Zero, if you're sitting here moving like, like he got arthritis, a bad back, and you know what I'm saying, he, he looking stiff. Scorpion was looking bad too. Scorpion looking a little bit more better now. You know what I'm saying? The trip and the teleport, that's that's fire. We need more of that less of the sitting here like like it's an action i play sub zero it's like a joke like he feels like dan habiki from street fighter and and he be sounding cold as hell when he be talking i'll be like okay sub zero talking that cash when i get in the game he don't play like that he don't play like what he play like <laughs> like he broke bro like and like uh and like i said year one was like skins and cameos 
But year two, we need skins and characters. Characters, characters, characters. If we don't get no more skins, we need the characters to all get improved. All right? Please do not get focused on the DLC characters so much that you forget about the base roster. Your base roster is your life support of your game. As long as the base roster is in continuously getting new things added to it, new moves, new mechanics, and that's another thing we, we gotta have more of. We need more mechanics in this game. Um, I, big ups to them actually improving the uh, the down two, and then like making it more actual viable to be a mechanic, but we could use some more mechanics in this game. When I say more mechanics, I don't mean more defensive. Well, okay, let me correct that. We could use some more defensive mechanics because like, I don't want to speak too quickly on it. But we could use some more offensive mechanics. One of the mechanics I think we could take from MK11 would be the uh, quick jump into the overhead. We can get that back and make it combo too. Like that, make that whole like hurt. Uh, fatal blows, they can stay gone. That, that was a dumb, dumb idea. Like the way it worked was ludicrous. Um, also, the thing where some characters have a good anti-air and some characters don't, that needs to be changed. Uh, you just make make the anti-airs universal. Everybody has a good anti-air, etc. Uh, that's how I feel because I don't know why some characters have a, a nine frame anti-air and some characters just literally have like a 12 frame. That's that's dumb. <laughs> that's kind of stupid. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, and going forward. I feel like, as far as cameos are concerned, what they could do, right? Either, if you don't want to release more cameos, which obviously they're going to release more, year three, this is looking further down if they want to even support the game that far. Year three, what I think they could do is add variations to the cameos. So, obviously, we have the base cameo, and people are like, oh, this cameo is viable. And no matter how much you improve or change a the cameo, they're going to be like, I don't like this cameo, or they do like this cameo. If we have a cameo variation two, like you know how MKX have variations, if you add two variations, start off with like two variations of each cameo, and then if that works really well, go to three variations of each cameo. Um, that would actually incentivize people to play this game. I'm talking about years from now. Like it wouldn't just be like, a, okay, this game was fun back in the day, but I don't want to play it anymore because. To be honest, the cameo system, although people complain about it and sleep on it, the cameo system as a whole is a great idea because of the simple fact that the cameos basically add another variation to your character, right? Uh, something else y'all could do to make cameos a little more actually cool was, let's say the characters that you pick a cameo on a certain team and obviously have their natural synergy, but there's unique moves per character. So like Chijinko, for example, right? He picks moves based off your opponent, what they play. Let's say the actual cameo you have will use some of your moves type of deal. That could be a cameo that you release, like an opposite of Jinko, where it copies your character moves and just gives you access to the same super variation of your move. That'd be neat. Or let's say uh, I have double Sub-Zero, double Scorpion, and I have access to moves that other characters don't. Rather than just, okay, well, have ice coat and you know i'm more sub zero than i was before but actually adding character specific cameo moves it's it's just ambitious you know what i'm saying it's ambitious but i'm telling you for the long lifeblood of this game that would be something that i think the fans and myself would love to see uh, on top of just new stuff because what made mkx so good as a whole was the gameplay was crap the gameplay was all over the place and crazy but it was fun to watch because something different was always happening um the for the first year of mk1 it felt like oh it's, it's johnny cage versus sub-zero it's finals oh i know what's gonna happen or oh it's, it's uh sub-zero versus sendel i know how this matchup gonna go or oh it's omni man versus uh <laughs> omni man versus homelander i know how this matchup goes you feel like off the of, like based off the base character and their actual matchup you feel like okay well Basically, this character's gonna have an advantage and that character's gonna have an advantage. But if I make the cameos have character specific advantages, which is probably kind of going too far, but we'll see if they actually do something like that. Um, you could really make this game like really exciting because it'd be like, oh, I've got Takeda and Cyrex and they can do stuff that no other character can do. And not just because of the, the base character, you know what I mean? 
Um, you could make it either. You could do either or though. You could do the base character, which again, it goes back to my point of just adding more moves to the base characters would improve the game as a whole because it opens up more options for your cameos, right? Um, but like I said, there's a lot you could do with this game. This game has a ton of potential, and I just hope that NetherRealm Studios does not fail to use that potential. So, like I said, this has been Masketeers. I'm gonna keep this too long. See you next time. Peace.